SCP-060, Object Class Keter, Special Containment Procedures. The grove which contains SCP-060 is currently contained in a series of speci specially constructed greenhouses at uh, Satellite Site 66-060. Specimens are to be pruned regularly to keep a manageable size. Personnel are banned from smoking while within 5 kilometers of Satellite Site 66-060. 060. Personnel are to refrain from burning lighters, matches, tasers, or any other readily capable of starting fire into the satellite. SCP-060 specimens are to be watered twice a day, checked weekly for dead plant matter and saplings, dead matter and saplings are to be pruned, shredded, and composted properly in a dedicated facility on site. Afterwards, return to SCP-060 containment chamber. Fragments of SCP-060 may not be removed off site for any reason without explicit written permission from two or more level four personnel. In the event of a breach by SCP-060 Alpha, personnel are to be enter lockdown mode and activate on site fire suppression systems. Redundant on site fire suppression systems have been installed throughout the site, including water and chemical retardants, and utilized tandem to prevent the containment breach. Portable extinguishers are to be kept available at all times. Containment Chamber 060 Alpha 001 is a dedicated circular containment chamber designed to contain SCP-060 Alpha during testing. The chamber is constructed of concrete with a 0.2 meter thick, metric thick ab asbestos coating and series of chimneys that allow for ventilation to heat during containment. The walls are fitted with 24 CO2 projectors if evenly spaced at 45 degree angles along the walls and will activate the presence of temperature exceeding 200 Celsius. One kilogram of SCP-060 material to be kept within the containment chamber, 060-alpha-001 to be burned at the event of this breach. Description. SCP-060 is a grove of 17 white oak trees, Quercus alba, and the grove spread across approximately eight acres of the ritual in northeastern Minnesota. As the property was demolished during the construction of satellite site 66-060, after being combed by Foundation personnel for information regarding SCP-060, see addendum. When burned, SCP-060 will produce and emit henceforth designated SCP-060-alpha. SCP-060-alpha appears to be an animate adult human skeleton, standing approximately 2.3 meters tall, 7.5 feet, and surrounded by Surrounded by bright white flames, SCP-060-alpha initially burns the temperature approximately 15, 1500 Celsius, roughly 2730 Fahrenheit, and will attempt to cause as much more da as damage as possible when active. Burning as little as 20 grams of SCP-060 will cause the SCP-060-alpha to appear. Only one instance of SCP-060-alpha will appear at any time, it is theorized that 060-alpha uh, is a unique entity. SCP-060 Alpha is extremely dangerous, having proven to be hostile with its intelligent, and appears to be a single recurring entity showing a growing familiarity with satellite site 66-060's layout over the course of several manifestations. When given the opportunity, it was thrown itself bodily out of flammable material in an effort to cause damage and assault personnel with a focus on grappling and strangulation. Additionally, it will prove incapable of running at speeds up to 80 kilometers an hour, 50, me 50 miles an hour, short person leading approximately 5 meter with running speed. Due to the extreme temperature reduced, uh, produced by 060 alpha, during the initial stages of the manifestation, along with the physical capabilities, it is capable of causing large uncontrolled fires and widespread property damage if left unchecked. SCP 060 alpha appears to be intentionally avoid burning instances of SCP 060 when it becomes active. If SCP-060 alpha is introduced to a high enough volume of water, other flammable re retardant material over a short amount of time, it will begin to weaken at the point where it collapses into dust. Collapse will occur suddenly with the little warning. SCP-060 alpha will continue to pose a threat until it's collapsed. The volume suppressed from material required to subdue SCP-060 alpha is remarked less than would be expected to coincide to a heat source of its intensity. Volumes of approximately 500 liters proving sufficient. Areas burned by SCP-060 Alpha will begin to yield saplings. Instance of SCP-060 will follow in four or six weeks. Only one way of sapling growth will follow any given containment breach. Said saplings are easily pulled and should be composted and supplied to SCP-060 as normal containment chambers. Additional information regarding 060 the property containing SCP-060 containing a burnt out, saluted house upon foundation acquisition.
According to civilian sources, the house's previous owner was a Jonathan Cornhill, who is reported to have been somewhat solitary eccentric, with a tendency towards bitterness and nihilism. Mr. Cohill was reported as a missing person in late 1996, several months after having suddenly cut off all ties to family, friend, members, and friends. The last time the person in contact with Jonathan Cohill was his brother Christopher via telephone, according to his brother Cohill, had developed an interest in the study of Victorian era occultism. Furthermore, he wrote reported that Jonathan Cornhill had seemed normal up until the phone call, at which point he told Christopher never to contact him. Later in the year, a mail carrier visited the home to deliver a notice of foreclosure, finding it instead as a burnt-down shell. Examination showed that the fire began in the living room to a general vicinity to the fireplace. It is now assumed that SCP-060 Alpha manifested within the house while Cornhill burned SCP-060 in the fireplace. Considering SCP-060's alpha nature, while the house was not entirely destroyed during the alleged manifestation as of yet unknown, no human beings were found within the construction. Now, in the Cornhill's whereabouts and whereabouts and whether he's dead or alive are currently unknown.